these have been sitting in my freezer for the last couple of weeks, um, and I think uh, I need to stop shrimping to the occasion. Um, I've just been so shellfish, and uh, I think I need to remove my shell and take off my tail, metaphorically, uh, the tail that's holding me back, and I think I just need to stop being a prawn in this cosmic chessboard. Because I think when I look deep down, I know that I am truly a butterfly. Hey there, and welcome back to Snackable. So today on Snackable, we're going to be trying CPAC's Jumbo Coconut Shrimp. Uh, I love coconut shrimp. Uh, it, it, probably within the last two years, I figured it out. Uh, my favorite place to get it is Red Lobster. It's just, it's so good. You know, since they got rid of their chicken nuggets, that's what I get now every time that I go in there. Just... You know, I, I don't dip them in any sauce, but we're going to be putting a couple sauces on these because uh, I think these are going to be good. CPAC's well known for having good frozen seafood, which sounds like an oxymoron because most people want it fresh. I don't want mine to be too fishy, you know? I just, that's probably also because I haven't given fish a fair chance, but who knows? I'm actually going to go throw these in the oven real quick because I'm, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day and I want to eat these. It says pre oven to 425 degrees, arrange frozen shrimp fr frozen shrimp in a single layer on baking sheet for full package. Bake 11 to 12 minutes. I'm having a stroke for a fryer. I don't have a fryer. I don't have an air fryer either. I don't need one. And for the sauce, thaw sauce unopened in a bowl of hot water. We're going to be trying a uh, different sauce with you know each of these different shrimp i would like to try ketchup maybe some taco sauce as weird as that sounds i'm in a taco sauce phase maybe some buffalo sauce i'm gonna be trying they have uh, an orange marmalade sauce that comes with this so i'll be interested to see how it is maybe it's good maybe not be right back so it's in the oven uh and i checked all over this and unless you do the math on the back um you don't understand that there are in fact 10 that come with this package uh which isn't bad um it's about maybe close to 75 cents a shrimp, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. Uh, if you go to Red Lobster, obviously it's going to be uh, a lot more, but those, as far as I'm aware, are somewhat fresher, fresher than this. All right, here we go. These look, uh, these look interesting. So visually, I'd say they look almost the same as what you would get at a Chinese buffet. Uh, Smell-wise, they almost smell exactly like the Red Lobster one, so I'm all over this. Uh, we've got the marmalade sauce right here. Uh, orange marmalade, is that what it was? Orange, yeah, orange marmalade. So uh, I'm not a huge fan of orange anything, so we're going to give it a chance. Um, that, that'll be the, the first one that I guess we, we, we tried on. They are still pretty hot. I think I probably overdid it, but let's give it a try. Oh, mm. first off, that sauce is delicious. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it. Wow, really brings like an extra hit of flavor just to the entire experience. Now, as for the jumbo coconut shrimp, I think they're good. Um, I don't think they blow my mind, but they're certainly not to the level of a Chinese buffet where it's like I eat this and I go, is this shrimp? Like, I can tell these are shrimp, and they're really, really good, and they have a lot of flavor to them. I'm, I'm sort of just wondering which of the sauces that I have here is going to be best for them. i do one more with this orange marmalade. Let's, let's really soak it on this time, because why not? Mm. We're going to go with a little bit of a different look. We're going to try some taco sauce on them, because I love I'm, I'm I'm in a taco sauce sort of thing right now, so I want to I wanna really see... These are going to be good with taco sauce. Just a little bit, just a little bit. This is the mild, you know. This is the only one I really eat, so. Hmm. Definitely not my favorite. Um, as crazy as it seemed, it was that crazy. It was, a, it was a really bizarre taste overall. The shrimp still tasted good, but it was just, it was weird. I shouldn't have done it. Next, we have some barbecue sauce from Backwoods Brothers, which is right across the street. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, this is a bit of a, it's got a little heat to it, but it's mostly um, going to be like, what do you call it? Sweet? Yeah, that's the word, sweet. Good. Um, the barbecue is a nice finish to it. Um, that orange marmalade is really hard to beat, though. Next, we got some buffalo sauce. <gasps> 
Well, I always over pour this. I always over pour this. Okay, so there's one that definitely got into it, so we're gonna just. Let's give it a try. I never thought that buffalo would taste good with a shrimp, but it does. It really does. I don't, you know. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mm. That that might be second place so far. Wow, that really adds a kick. And finally, this is probably not as weird, but I've heard of people trying it. Uh, it just seems like a weird combination to me. Um, but I'm a weird guy, so let's, let's give it a try. Solid taste. Nothing to write home about. Um, it's way better than the barbecue sauce or the taco sauce. Because I think it just sort of... It adds a little bit of the flavor and it lets the shrimp do it. Um, I would almost say, I, I think I like it a little bit more than the buffalo wing, but it's it's probably just because I'm a ketchup fiend. What I should do is just eat one of these plain, so I will, and here we go. I've eaten so many of these already. <laughs> By themselves, plain, they definitely lack a lot of character. Um, if you put the marmalade, all the characters there. Like you don't need any more character. Don't even season them. It's the marmalade does it for it. Um, but just in case you didn't want the marmalade, these are some other options. I mean, I still have one more. I think I'm gonna go buffalo. Sorry, it was it was just so good. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be giving ratings to all these different sauces. Some of you won't even use any of these sauces. Some of you are disgusted that I even tried them. I just said, why not? I'm eating shrimp. Let's just. Let's experiment a little. Let's enjoy ourselves. And these sea pack shrimp are so good. So freaking good. I would say that the coconut shrimp that you can get from Red Lobster are usually a 9 out of 10. Uh, they're probably just about as good as you can possibly get. These are an 8 out of 10. I mean, these are right on their tail. <laughs> get it? Shrimp. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a try. I think you'll really like it. You know, it's a little pricey, but if you put it next to a steak or something, I think it makes the entire meal. I think it brings it up a level. This is perfect for date night, you know? And I, I, I would know, because I'm alone. But be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Comment down below what I should try next. Plenty of new things to try. I think we're going for a regular chip next week. We haven't done one of those in a while. So it's going to be fun to see what that is. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess we'll have to see what we're eating next time. Bye.